week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. This is a 12 rounder. Here's round number one. Don't During your training spot. career, is this the type of matchup that you liked when you had a power puncher facing another power puncher? No, I hated it. I never wanted to fight a big banger. I wanted to be the only guy in that ring that brought that to the party. The kid's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Able to show you his blocking ability. Get out of the way from those punches. Very nice defensive guard there. Halfway through this round here. Keep that head moving. Targeting a left hand to the body. Keep working the well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. The kid's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Rage. And now he's targeting upstairs. And he's holding. That's what I want to see. Last 10 seconds. Good effective work with that straight right hand. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget. 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. Able to cover up that There's gut. No need to be inside. Little head hunting with the left. Oh, Get that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Sweet Pea. <laughs> and you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. To the head he goes with a left hand. <laughs> Halfway through round number two. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Sweet Pea. The kid's proving to be elusive. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Back to the body. Oh. 
Blocks that belt line well. Took a shot, now he gives a left. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the kid. Yes. Nice work, kid. Good job in that room. Yap, yap, and throw. Uh, throw to the body. Down to the head. Then finish to the body. Don't need that. Throw that away. Listen, I'm not gonna stand here and watch you take those shots. You understand me? Let's see some deep. And round number three is underway. Good right hand. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy, but to get inside, you need a cover. And there, right there was the cover. Turn the sender with the left hand. Able to get rid of that one. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Sweet P. Teddy, among the things that we're going to key in on here early on in this fight is the ability to go to the body. Very important, because what it does is stops the ability of your opponent to defend the headshots. Takes away some of that head movement. One, one, two. You missed that uppercut. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. And that's the end of round three. Straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body. Jab, jab, and throw. Throw to the body, then to the head, then finish to the body. Listen, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. That was good. Nice work. Beautiful. Beautiful. And keep that head moving, and I want to see it double jump. The kid's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Sweet P. Hey, gotta see that coming. Let's go. And now he's targeting upstairs. Showing you some defense there with the block. The kid's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. There's a straight right hand. Garcia. Wow! Well, you knew his opponent could crack, and now he knows too. He is down. And right now, he's actually thinking about what he's going to do. Am I going to get up? One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be OK. He doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire. But he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Unable to connect by Garcia. Circle it. Something for him 
himself, and it's a left hand. Scored well up top. Not able to land the headshot. Ten seconds remaining in this round. I don't want you to slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your range. Jab, jab, right. Okay? There you go. Listen, I want you to pick his jabs. Throws a jab, you go. carry it away, and you'll catch him. Okay? You got that? It's gonna happen. You're gonna catch him. You need to cover up. The kid's doing a good job of being strong on his feet right now. He was rocked in that last round, but his opponent doesn't appear to be seeing any damage standing opposite him. Accuracy an issue there, didn't land that straight right hand. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. Nice strike after catching one by the kid. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Come he on, took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Take the shot. Stay away from the inside. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Place jab straight. Gets rid of that body shot. Don't fight this fight. Jab and move. Don't just walk him. Walk him with him. Side to side. Come on, Yeah. You're fighting his fight. You're fighting on me. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Sweet Pea's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. The kid's ability to utilize this jab, fighting on the outside, has been so critical in what we've seen on the scorecard so far. Why so, Teddy? Because it's not a common jab. You know, he reminds me, believe it or not, of Hector Camacho, the former junior lightweight champion, because he throws a trip hammer jab. You know, usually you turn that jab over, you know, counterclockwise, but he doesn't turn it over. He just drops it down. It just drops straight down. There's no warning, and boy, it's been landing. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Sweet P's opponent, no 
knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Good return fire that time. Great work offensively landing that combination by Sweet Pea. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the six. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And that's the end of round six. The kid's gathering himself right now in the corner. And his trainer is really doing him a good service in reminding him. Yes, to this point, the later stages of this fight, you're in control. But still, go out and do everything we talked about in training camp. Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. There you go. Listen. Get So with the start of this round, we've reached the halfway point. Be interesting to see what we're in store for down the stretch of this fight. Able to dismiss it. Garcia's missing punches here. Now the good news is, He's throwing punches, but Teddy needs to be more accurate. Oh, can I give you the bad news? Please. He's throwing them to the wrong place. He's throwing them upstairs. He should throw them downstairs. This guy's moving his head. You go downstairs, you take away that head movement. Then you find them upstairs. That's classic work with the double jab. Move your head. Sweet Pea's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. With the hook. And he engages in the clinch. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Come on! Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Listen to me. The best defense is to throw punches. You, you need to throw Take more punches. That I don't want you to slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your range. Yab, yab, right, okay? There you go. He's off. He's tired. He's got nothing left, okay? Just go for the head. The kid's strategy is being put forth in a good way here. As we start round number eight, he's ahead on your scorecard, Teddy, by just a bit. Now, if he's to continue on and win this fight, what does he have to do? Well, he can't fall into the trap, Joe, of being satisfied with what he's done. He has to keep moving forward, keep plowing that field. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power, and we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously, and it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing, and I think it's an intimidating right now to his opponent. He's afraid to let that jab go because he might get counted with one of those lightning right hands. Comes right back at him with a left hand. See him holding on. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. A little give.
give and take, and here comes the left hand. Rain! Rain! Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Good job with another left hand. And that's the end of round eight. The kid's got to find a way to take what he just did in that last round and keep that kind of energy moving forward here because I do believe he's ahead on the scorecards in a close fight. Very close fight. Yeah, I see it about the same way, but you just said it. It's very important that his corner people now don't really tell him that he's ahead. I think they let him think that if he's not behind, it's a dead even fight and keep pushing, keep pushing right there. Stay responsible, stay within yourself, but keep pushing. I need you to move your head more, side to side. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best and both guys meeting each other stride for stride. Punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Teddy, when you've been in the corner in your career and you have a charge who is not making a lot of contact, what do you tell him? The first thing I tell him, Joe, is shorten up your punches a little bit. The other thing I tell him is he's making you miss, so you know what? Faint him a little bit. Get a false move out of him. Get a premature move. And when he moves, then time him. Now you're going to catch him. through the ninth round. Relax, relax. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Sweet P. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Oop, off the yap. Come on, baby. How about that? Another right hand. Garcia's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. The kid's opponent has to find a way to close that gap. He can't just let him control this fight from the outside. And the way he's got to do it is, first of all, get to the starting gate. He's not getting to the starting gate. You know, his opponent's stepping away from him. Step up into the right position a little bit. Bring your feet forward and then use that jab to come in and make sure you take steps. Don't lunge. Walk your way in behind that jab. Round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy with you here ringside. Teddy, you know, you really got to admire how accurate he is. I mean, he makes the most of what he throws. Yeah, he makes it count. This is a guy who doesn't want to waste anything. This is it. You hurt him, keep on him. All right. All we need is water up there, and that's it. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. And now they start round number 10. Oh, what a whiff by Sweet Pea. Keep working the yum. Nice work with the overhand right. Sweet Pea's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. The kid's doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. 
Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use the jab, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. Keep your hands up! Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Sweet P. Keep working the champ. Good, good. Yeah. And he ties up on the inside. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Sweet P. That's okay. Stay in back. You have to keep your distance. Stay away from him. Keep throwing that jump. Nice work. Keep it up. This guy's never felt a beating like this. Keep the pressure up. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Just under six minutes left in this fight. Round number 11, scheduled for 12. Teddy's scorecard shows that he has a comfortable lead. And he should keep that comfortable lead. That's the key. You only have to keep it for a short period of time now. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't get greedy. Sweet peas tagged by a right hand. And now another left. Sweet peas showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Great round now, back and forth after he did the hurting. He's the one hurt. So, simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Garcia is nailed by a hook. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the kids. And now he's targeting upstairs. right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Garcia's well off the mark that time. Last 10 seconds of this 11th round. Come on, kid, focus! Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth brawl like that? Move your head, keep your hands up, you know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you gotta give him a little confidence. Remind him, hey, we trained for a tough fight. You're ready for this. You're fighting his fight. You're fighting on the inside with this guy. I want you to use the... for 12 and they're closing in on going the full distance final round the kids whiff in there a big wide sweeping shot I'm a perfect to counter against yes it is and you know it's only a matter of time you know that goes into the old computer the old brain where the guy remembers that and the next time he's gonna capitalize on it 
As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. Seemingly in control, and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now. Is nothing was coming at him. He was winning too easily. And for a minute, he let up and bang. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Keep moving. Keep moving. You're still not moving enough. Move. Last dance, last chance. Last minute of the last round. Keep your hands up. One for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Sweet Pea's opponent is having a field day, Teddy. That left hand lands again. Well, he keeps moving the wrong direction. He needs to move away from that punch. The kid's left now getting into the mix. Last 10 seconds of the fight. Who would have ever thought it with two guys like this, brawlers, punchers, that they would go to a decision? A unanimous decision, Teddy, your scorecard falls in line, and everybody here in the arena knows exactly what happened tonight. Yeah, this was an easy one. I mean, I think that you would have had a big problem with the crowd, not to mention me, your broadcaster right here, if these judges gave it any other way. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being here.